Electric scooters have seen a huge surge in popularity over the last couple of years, with the discovery that they can be a surprisingly convenient and fun way to shave some time off the morning commute. With rising pollution levels worldwide, there are more people than ever looking for an eco-friendly alternative to driving or using public transport. Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. And today's video, we take a look at the five best electric scooter that you can get your hand on this year. And if you want more information, we also put the link in the description box down below. Thanks. Starting up our list with number five, we have Gotrax G3. Gotrax G3 offers nearly the same experience as the Segway for a lot less the price. It has the same 15 mile per hour top speed, powered by a 350 watt motor, and Gotrax even claims 18 miles per charge. Throw in a climb like the Williamsburg Bridge in New York City, and you'll see the battery deplete much faster. A round trip over the bridge and back home saw the e-scooter running out of juice around the 8 mile mark. The Gotrax G3 come with 8.5 inch 2 tires do a pretty good job absorbing bumps in the road, and the rear disc brake stops it fairly quickly. The G3 is equipped with a unique one-step folding system for maximum portability. Aluminum material can enhance stability and a special red safety button to protect the scooter from folding while riding. The electric scooter's wide deck provides greater comfort for both of your feet and improves stability when you step on. The large soft anti-slip pedal allows you to relax even during a long-range commute. It also has an LED display that shows speed and battery life, a bell, front light and brake light, and cruise control. Plus, it's not much heavier at 36 pounds and folding fast. Uniquely, the G3 has a few anti-theft mechanisms. When you turn it on, you'll need to enter a code to unlock the display and use the scooter. There's also a steel cable attached at the bottom of the stem you can pull out and lock the G3 to fix object. This might give you peace of mind if you have to leave the G3 outside, but it's not going to do much against to determine the thief. Next up at number 4, we have the Anakam OX Super. The Anakam OX Super is one of few genuinely unique electric scooters on the market in 2022, not just in terms of its design but performance too. It's comfortably high-end at over $1,000, but you really do get your money's worth. The overall look of the Anakam OX Super is unique with every design element playing a crucial part in the premium experience on offer, be it the inclusion of sensors that'll automatically enable lighting in dark environments or the large board with ample space to stand. The scooter particularly width measuring in at 122 by 59 by 130 centimeters, and it's still fairly large in its folded form at 122 by 59 by 54 centimeters. The obvious downside to such a large scooter is that it's more difficult to store when not in use and combined with a weight of 28 kg, it's difficult to carry when you do need to do so. If you're on the market for a lightweight, slim scooter that's easy to take on public transport, the Anakam OX Super isn't for you. The highlight of the design for many will be the floating wheel that isn't directly connected to the stem of the scooter. Instead, it uses a monofork wheel design with adjustable suspension designed for both smooth roads and off-roading, making the OX Super the beast even when you run out of roads to ride on. It's the performance that truly makes the OX Super stand out though. With a 1000 watt motor and a 60 volt with 21 amps hour battery, it's capable of speeds at up to 28 mile per hour with a range of up to 54 miles, besting every other scooter in our chart. It is speed limited to 15.5 mile per hour for safety in the UK, but the restrictions can be removed if required. So, while the Anakamo X Super is comfortably high-end, you're getting one of the most capable electric scooters on the market in return. At number 3, we have Gotrax XR Ultra. While the top end of the electric scooter market continues to push the envelope in terms of speed, range, and portability, many of those models remain too expensive for the general consumer. As with most products, the technology eventually triples down to price points more palatable to the general public. Such is the case with the Gotrax XR, a budget e-scooter that offers a level of performance that should meet most people's means without making them feel any buyer's remorse after. The XR Ultra's top speed of 15.5 mile per hour and a max range of 17 miles seems unimpressive when compared to other, more expensive, competitors. But its around $400 price tag makes this model a much more approachable option for those looking to dip their toe in the e-scooter waters. Put it in other terms, this is the Toyota Camry of electric scooters. One of the best elements of the XR Ultra is its very smooth and comfortable ride. This scooter glides along at a steady pace, its 8.5-inch inflatable tires rolling over most obstacles with ease. 
The XR fold-in frame and 27-pound weight should make it a favorite amongst budget-conscious commuters as well. In an effort to keep costs down, Gotrax didn't include any kind of suspension, however, which means this model performs best on smooth, paved surfaces. That isn't to say that the XR Ultra doesn't have a good feature set. The scooter comes with both a disc and electric braking systems with regenerative properties. It also includes a bright LED headlight and an LCD screen that displays speed, distance, and battery life. At number 2, we have the Zymi M306-5. When selecting an e-scooter for use as a daily commuter, we want something that's lightweight and easy to carry around without compromising on performance. That's exactly what we found in the My M365, which manages to provide 18.6 miles of range and a top speed of 15.5 mile per hour, while tipping the scales at a shade over 27 pounds. And don't let that lightweight fool you, it still has plenty of features packed into its design. For instance, it comes with front and rear lights, wide shock-absorbing tires, and an LED indicator for battery life. It also has a regenerative braking system that feeds power back into the battery as well as a companion app for customizing settings and tracking distance, speed, and other metrics. Well, we put a lot of thought into making the M365 easy to use too. This is evident in its folding mechanism, which allows it to shrink down to a more compact size in under 3 seconds. We appreciate that simplicity when entering and exiting trains, climbing stairs, riding elevators, or even taking the M365 in and out of car trunk. Because of this, it's only rated to carry riders weighing up to 220 pounds. The frame itself is plenty durable and can certainly support someone who exceeds that weight limit, but heavier passenger cuts into performance, reducing both its range and the speed. The last product on our list is the Segway 9Bot F30, the best overall electric kick scooters available on the 2022 market. The Segway 9Bot F30 is a good place to start for anyone new to electric scooters. It excels at the basics from a headlight that reliably illuminates dark streets to a responsive front and rear brake system that speedily halts you. The cruise control kicks in after a few seconds, so you'll need to hold the throttle down with a beep to alert you. Even a bell on the handlebars is intuitively designed in such a way that you don't have to look down for it. There's a digital display to view ride data, but the F30 can connect to Segway's companion app via Bluetooth so you can configure settings, update the scooter's firmware, and lock it in place mode. The whole thing is dead simple to fold up with 33 pounds, it's not terribly heavy to carry up a flight of stairs. Rides are comfortable, thanks to a spacious deck and handlebars tall enough for lanky arms to grab. The large 10-inch pneumatic tires absorb many of those bumps on the road, so unless you're riding on cobbled streets, expect smooth gliding. The 300-watt motor goes up to 15 miles per hour on the F30's sport mode, but it struggles with steep hills and range. With 220 pounds weight, they got around 9 mile per hour up small slopes and 10 miles on a single charge. If you're smaller, you might end up with something closer to Segway's 18 mile claim. You can also upgrade to the F40 for $770, which is nearly identical but hits 18 mile per hour and purportedly gets 25 miles on a charge.